Well, it's a lazy Easter Sunday morning as the Stompy 51 miniature adventure takes you into my garage for a quick look at a few bits of old hammer undead that have just lazily sat there for a long time and so I thought I would share because there's always been something fun and creepy and spooky about how Old Hammer Games Workshop did the undead. So we'll start off with a look at the Morngul. Not that I know much about Morngulls, driven by famine and pain to hunt their former friends and companions. Morngulls are damned to an eternity of terrible isolation. Their shadowy, cadaverous forms of cold flesh and cracked bone warp and twist ceaselessly as they rake their foes with claws and death. It does sound quite terrifying really and they do look quite funky this is just a picture i lifted off ebay but i don't think i'm ever going to keep mine because mine actually i just swapped for this ailey morrison ogre from what must be the late 80s that i painted but had no real interest in at all and i think what i'll actually do is see if i can swap the mongol for my current passion dwarves so let's crack mr mongol out of his plastic coffin of undeath coming as he does from my garage the realm where unpainted things go to be stuck in stasis forever forge world very nice Ooh. now this is why i am going to be swapping this on because i just don't fancy clipping such huge pieces of resin off their little spindles over there whatever they're called, because I just, I'm not sure his head will be left in that state when I'm finished with it. Blah. And I'm not really that into true horror either. So let's see how the pieces fit together, or would fit together. He's like a, you know, gangly teenager. Limbs everywhere. Now where would that volley gun go? I mean, there's part, there's half of a dead horse. And then the other half of the dead horse. Nice big base, nice long arm. So, right, he's got two gangly arms. These nasty claws go on this as well. And I suppose that's what makes him look like such a big model when he's not actually all that big. Ah, oh, right, so presumably this other claw goes at the bottom of one of the spindly arms and then it looks like that's the so the horse is in multiple pieces well I'm not smart enough to figure this out so he clutches onto well it's like a Salvador Dali painting so right you've got the guts of the horse oh, forge world these are definitely kits for the higher end professionals because there's no instructions that come with this. Okay, look, you would conceptually assume that the two ends of the horse go like that. Right. And he's then grabbing onto the head of the horse, which may be disassociated from the body of the horse. And then you'd have to work in all of these little claws into the fingers and I know what would happen to it in my care over time. They would just fall out. Anyway, so there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Mongol. And that's why it will be swapped. Right, but because I like to give you as much bang for your buck as possible, I thought I would get out my other little bits and bobs of um, Old Hammer Undead. I don't have many because this has been a very, very slow burn project over many years. Really just to use them for, was it Vanguard? You know, that skirmish game that Mantic brought out that died very quickly, but I thought was all right. And then maybe if I play Mordheim, who knows? And so anyway, so you've got a grave guard there. And these are very characterful, even if they aren't very um, animated. I mean, they do look like they're kind of half praying. But I think what they used to do was, you know, make one dolly and then put different bits on it, which you can see from the very similar uh, cloak he's wearing. Where's the third one? There's the third one. And would they all have shields? And so what I would do with these is I would give them slightly more 
modern shields rather than the very plain ones that they had, and that would add a bit of fun. Hello. Hello there. And then you've got Isabella von Karstadt. What is a Karstein? Karstadt, I think, is a presumably long, bankrupt German department store, but who knows? I'm assuming their department stores have all gone bust like ours have. Which is all very sad. And then here's a very characterful looking necromancer. And I'm not sure who sculpted all of these. I mean, you've got to ask, what is that giant hand on there? Albeit it might not be a hand at all. It might just be some kind of golden ornamental clasp thing with the skull also possibly being like the crystal skull. I told you to go and create an army of the undead. Why are you still here, human? And why are we still here? When we can go and eat our body weight in Easter eggs. Albeit once I have stuffed myself, if I get a bit bored later during the rest of the bank holiday, I might do a few more videos because I find rummaging through stuff and sharing bits and pieces with you guys and seeing the comments is more fun than just watching random box sets in between my usual worldly chores and obligations and other fun. And I do have some fun things to share with you actually, which I have painted. So keep well, keep safe, and I hope to see you again soon.